then they thought because they didn't know what was under there and he'll get it that's a good deal on it so yeah I will, we'll check in that Mr. Carter and see what we can do about that I've got the date and we can go back and see what the tool size yeah. was and stuff so we'll know on that that's all we got for three unless y'all have some questions I'm good um, I'm, I may have to backtrack a little bit on my comments about uh, right acres uh, we have uh, we met the other night and uh, in order to do an, an appropriate job of uh, uh, paving the streets out there and doing the things that we need to do we're going to get this uh, uh, a project designed by the engineers to help us assess the drainage situation and uh, that way we'll make sure whatever type of roads we put in they're going to hold up and do what we need them to do because drainage is a significant issue out there so it may delay being able to put the roads in as we had talked about but I think it's for the best that we get this drainage situation taken care of first so uh, the committee voted to go ahead and they had two options for us and uh, one of the options was to let them design it and completely and take care of it. The other one was to just give us some ideas and the committee voted to uh, pick the uh, option that they would design everything. Uh, we have plenty of money in the engineering uh, section of our budget. Hasn't been used very much at all. And so uh, I don't know at this point when we have more specific stuff, we'll probably come back and and discuss uh, voting on this at the committee, I mean at, at the council here, but uh, uh, be prepared for that to come through, the main thing on that. Uh, the street sweeper is expected to uh, be here at the end of the month. Uh, the Southwest Drive, uh, we're working on a some of that the excavation work is done, uh, we're having to participate in taking care of some of that, make sure that that drains properly, and then would you go ahead and fill them in on the Bo Ryan information? Uh, we sent the letters out to the people in Bo Ryan about them having to move their fences and stuff, and I've got a couple of calls from people who won't know where to put their fence. Uh, one person actually told me that the property line was somewhere different than we actually thought it was, so I've contacted Skelton and Associates and they're going to go out there and survey it so we'll know exactly where the easement is and the property line is and then we will be able to get back with the people and tell them where they can put their fence that way we don't do any work in the wrong place and and we'll uh start off right <coughs> thank you that's all we've got thank you thank y'all thank y'all thank thank uh. Industrial or uh, senior citizen? Uh, we met the other night last Thursday and uh, we was looking over, <clears throat> we're kind of concerned on how our money is spent, not really how it's spent, but uh, we kind of looked to uh, work out some details on different things before we get into anything like that. And we'd like to know how our money is spent. You know, if somebody else is spending our money, we want to know exactly how much. And, or it's going to say just a general building fund that somebody else has access to. We just like to get together and work out some details and go from there. So, okay. Make sure it can't waste Right. Okay. That's good. Uh, Hospital? Uh, nothing new at this time. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about it, but uh, don't have the. Uh, I know they are talking to. Some people about MRIs, CAT scans, the whole works, and uh, <clears throat> I've tried to connect them with another company that has prefab hospital rooms, and that is also in Texas and Missouri. And um, if you need further information, I'll let the committee contact the committee and have a meeting on it. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Don't have anything under unfinished business, uh, new business? We did the sales tax allocation earlier. <coughs> uh, okay. Maybe unfinished, maybe new. I don't know. Uh, we talked, and Jan had talked, uh, Mike Rather talked about 
for helping with the grants and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe if I could clarify just a little bit for the department heads on that, that uh, we're expecting them to find the grants and basically detail it, and Jan will help you put it together. If she doesn't have the expertise that you all have to gather the data to make it work. So, uh, you know, don't just say, hey, I heard there's a grant someplace and, you know, expect her to write it. I don't think that's quite fair to her. You know, if you all, you know, hear something, know of something, but uh, certainly want to help and, and, and do that. But, you know, she just doesn't have the expertise in your departments to put that, come up with all the details and all the information to put together. So if you all kind of put it together and then bring it to her, she certainly have to work. She can kind of tell us what we need, the information we need to get for the grant. I mean, if she sees the grant, the reason I ask is because we've got one, and I actually called Brenda about it today to see if that if Jan was going to be helping with that. I told her I'd get with her later on, but yeah, as long I mean, as we I can show it to be her. Back and forth. Yeah, I mean, we can show it to her, and she can kind of tell us the information we need to get for the grant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we were just talking, but, you yeah. know, that okay. you know, she doesn't have all the expertise to right. just say, here's a grant, go get it. Right. Okay. Yeah. The, the, if you're out there, you go to different seminars and you go to your different uh, you know, state committees and things like that, and they're like, "Hey, this is a grant that's out there for your main fire department, street, or police okay. department." Then you can bring that back. Okay. So you find the grants, and she okay. will help you. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. Under mayor's report. All right. Our last meeting, I asked y'all to think about. You know, we all know there's a trash problem in town. And to come up with a solution, you know, don't come up and you know, say we have a trash problem, we all know that. You know, what is there that you're looking at the council up here to fix it? We'd love to fix it. But do you have a solution? Do we have a solution? You know, it's uh, there's a lot of different things. Does the city go into the trash business? Does the city go out and put the entire city out for a bid, as in one big uh, aspect? Do we do it as a war? Do we, uh, one of the big aspects, and this is from you know, different towns that you may go to, we go to uh, um, you know, no uh, uh, plastic shopping bags that uh, uh, one city that I was at, that uh, everybody had to have their own canvas bag uh, or paper bag. Um, so, what ideas do the citizens have to help clean up? You know, it's even though you know, most people do have you know, a lot of landlords supply trash pickup for their tenants, but they still take the trash to the back door and drop it, even though the landlord's sitting there paying money every month for them to have trash. All I got to do is take it to the curb. Uh, what do we do? So I want to open that up to an open discussion within council, within uh, the uh, public at large that's out here. What do you have? This morning as I came in, I looked at the uh, uh, north part of town and I actually was surprised at how it was looking. Uh, I, I think that by dealing with the ditches that we're doing and uh, keeping them addressed is going to be an important part of that uh, to make sure it continues to look good. But I, I think uh, we're going to have to start looking at a trash pickup type situation, I'm afraid. <clears throat> it's, um, I know I've talked with a couple different cities, and whenever we go to a full citywide trash pickup, then your monthly bill is less. Um, and uh, I haven't discussed it with uh, CLGW, I do know that, like with the Mosquito, there is a small fee. Uh, I think it's a, either Harbor or Cardwell uh, that, I talk with, that uh, the trash company charges 13 City of Cardwell, or that city down there charges 1350 The city gets 50 cents, and then they pay their trash company 13 But probably when they signed that contract was back when we had uh, Dollar ninety nine gas instead of uh, four nineteen four twenty nine gas. Uh, so uh, it, so it's still, what does the public want to see? I was you know, anybody out there got a suggestion they'd like to bring up an idea that they've had? 
you need to call another meeting. We had one a few years ago about it. Sure, sure everything up. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Yes. Um, I'd be happy to work on a committee if, if there's one put together to look at different ideas because I don't understand what the range of problems is. You know, I, know I saw in the paper about the Jam Hotel, which is one whole situation, but it sounds like you're also talking about this trash that you find by the roadside, and I know. I'm tired of picking up styrofoam cuts out of my yard. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm happy to participate. Okay. Well, that's sort of one of the things why I wanted to open it up here. That it's you know, it's what 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 is everyone wanting? It's uh, uh, you know there was a uh, I wish I could remember what the whole thing was. Dear Lord, grant me grace, but not another committee. Uh, <laughs> that. Uh, uh, or, the, or no, dear Lord, give me wisdom. Uh, but it's, you know, so I was just trying to you know, open it up to hopefully somebody bring an idea of what that it's, uh, it's for some instances, especially from a landlord standpoint. How do you make your tenant, even though you pay for the trash, how do you make your tenant take it there? You know, and <coughs> how do you make people mow in front of their business? That's the biggest thought, thing that I see driving down Independence or wherever is the, the businesses that need to have their, uh, extend their mowing out to the street, not just in a little small area. And that's a, like some of them are doing great <coughs> and others are paying no attention to what's doing. Yeah, it's, uh, and, it, and, and I, I understand that this isn't just, you know, a, a Kenneth problem. Um, that uh, I've been in contact with the uh, you know, code enforcement.